Hi, this is Nkechi from The Vent. I would like to welcome you to The Vent Craft if you're just joining me for the first time. I make it a point of duty in this channel to show you how to make lovely, unique fascinator designs as well as tips and tricks in your millinery journey and I crown it up with some catalogs on new designs I create to increase your creative ability. So I made this video some time back and got all these comments from you all my dearest subscribers to show how the beaded antenna was made. Yes, I got from a day from care, from Root, from Ayo Daily and much more. And so in today's video, I'm going to be answering that question for you all. Yes, Patricia, Chinea, Sophia. My apologies on taking this long to put up the video but come on you all fate let's dive in so to make this we'll be making use of our fishing line this is called a strong fishing line 0.80 millimeters 100 meters if you stay to the end of the video i would snap it and show you a closer view b6000 then our crystal beads i guess those that do beads will know the size of this bead then a measurement tape scissors we already have our rose there, crinoline rose that was made. So what I do is I put the fishing line inside the rose or whatever flower it is that I want to put it in to get the measurement of how high I want the fishing line to be or how long, depending on how you see it. So you can measure it with your measurement tape or you take um, that same one that you cut before Put it beside the previous one and cut i prefer to do it this way instead of using the measurement tape so that i'm sure that i get exactly the same size but sometimes i don't use all same size for all of them because some i may want it coming out more but in this particular circumstance or video we're going to be making use of the same length so the next thing you do is you take your b6000 and put the glue on the particular place on the fishing line where you want to put the pearl so that's the bead rather so that's that's how I put the bead then because I'm going to double it you can triple it four bullet five bullet <laughs> however you want anyway so when you put the gum you always put the gum that's the way I do it anyway before I put the bead you could try it other ways and see if it would work for you so I'm doing another one I'm going to do it to like about 12 so that I could place it on that crinoline rose and we'll see how it comes out. So keep watching and learning. Okay, let's take a slight break. I'd like to thank all you returning subscribers that have also ensured you click the bell not to miss out on any of my videos. And for those of you just coming to my channel for the first time, do click that subscribe button and the bell button. Thank you okay so there it is i have like about i think it's 10 pieces or so that i've made and now i want to attach them to the crinoline base so i just put it on the tip of the crinoline base and start pushing it pushing in into the crinoline flower the way i want to see it appear so keep watching and learning remember to watch to the very end of this video so you see the exact um the close-up view of the fishing line that i used to make these beaded antennas so do let me know where would you put your beaded antenna let me know in the comment section below this video what is your next plan on using this great unique tip for fascinator making what are you going to use the beaded antenna for? Now if you're gaining value from this video also, please do give me a thumbs up. Inspire me to keep on giving you tips, tricks and giving you great designs. So that's our crinoline flower with the beaded antenna. You can see it's glued firmly. It's not falling out. Okay, so here is the picture of our fishing line. You can see it's 100 meters and 0 0.80 millimeters. Thank you for staying till the very end. Bye. 